You probably don't spend much time on TikTok if you've never heard of Addison Rae. That aside, she happened to meet Donald Trump. Stay tuned for what happened. Rae is a Louisiana native who began competing in dance competitions at the age of six. She started as a freshman at Louisiana State University in the autumn of 2019 after graduating from high school and joining TikTok. During her first semester of college, she established a sizable following by posting dance videos, and she began to form relationships with corporations and musicians who wanted her to promote their products and songs. It happened pretty fast. I remember people asking, oh, can you do a dance to this song for $20? In the beginning, certainly, I'd say. Ray dropped out after one semester and relocated with her family to Los Angeles. Addison Ray happened to meet the ex-president Donald Trump, and many people were pissed off by this and mostly her fans. During a UFC event, Addison Ray seemed to greet Donald Trump, the former president. Rumors that the TikTok celebrity was a Republican were previously dismissed. Others have been chastised for appearing to back Trump on social media. A video purporting to show influencer Addison Rae confronting former Donald Trump at a UFC event has reignited discussion about her political leanings and if she voted for Trump in the 2020 election. The TikTok star can be seen exiting her seat after noticing Trump in the front row and touching him on the shoulder in a video posted to the NELK YouTube channel on Wednesday headlined, Addison Rae says hi to Donald Trump. My name is Addison and I'd like to introduce myself to you. It's wonderful to finally meet you. Hello. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. At Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier UFC 264 battle on Saturday, she told someone who appeared to be Trump. The video has almost 2.2 million views on YouTube, and numerous Twitter users have accused Ray of swooning over the former president. Clips of the meeting went viral on Twitter, with one from drama channel Deaf Noodles receiving over 615,000 views. The video sparked a lot of discussion online after that, with Deaf Noodles' tweet containing the film being retweeted over 3,200 times. The Deaf Noodles' Twitter account was suspended due to a violation of Twitter's terms. An inquiry about the account suspension was not promptly answered by a Twitter employee. The NELK video and several other Twitter reuploads still have footage of the alleged Ray Trump contact. Megan Rienks, actor and influencer, said in a tweet, You actually don't? I have to say hi. Oopsies, Addison, your Republican is showing. Chris Clements, a comedian and influencer, said. Rumors that Ray was a Republican and a Trump supporter started in September 2020 when a TikTok purporting to show Ray's early voting went viral. The video, which was shared by TikToker Tommy Memetastic, appeared to reveal Addison Easterling's voting history and registration. At the time, Ray disputed the video in the video comment section. Ray exclaimed, This isn't real. First and foremost, I was born and raised in the state of Louisiana. Second, I have never been and will never be registered to vote. I'm doing it with someone meaningful for the first time and I'm really enthusiastic about it. This is a forged document. Other influencers have been chastised for being conservative or supporting Trump in the past. Former Dance Mom star Kalani Hilliker faced controversy in November 2020 after using Instagram story posts and tweets to voice support for President and Trump in the 2020 election, according to Insider. After individuals online began to speculate she was a Republican, Dixie D'Amelio claimed she had received death threats as a result of inaccurate supposition of her political belief in May 2020. In a post, the TikTok celebrity stressed that she was an independent voter who had never voted for President Trump. Ray also sparked controversy at the same UFC 264 event when she posted a photo of herself at the preliminary event in which she appeared to joke that she was a fight correspondent. After receiving anger on Twitter, ESPN verified to Insider that, although conducting some interviews, the TikTok singer was not hired as a comprehensive employee. Addison Ray meeting former President Donald Trump, as shown on NELK's YouTube channel. Is it possible for a handshake to be canceled? 
That could be the case for TikTok star Addison Rae, 20, when she met former President Donald Trump, 75, recently. Several celebrities gathered to see Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor bout at the UFC 264 event in Las Vegas on July 11th. TikTok creators such as Rae, Hollywood stars such as Mel Gibson, and former politicians such as Trump were among the audience members. The actual drama began ringside when Rae chose to tap the former on the arm and introduced herself nicely as he was seated among his entourage. The video shows the content creator approaching the former commander-in-chief and saying, Hi, he was at the event for a short-lived side gig doing red carpet interviews. My name is Addison and I'd like to introduce myself to you. Thank you for taking the time to meet me. It's like, buddy, get the fuck out of the way, man. I'm Addison. <laughs> nice to meet you. I have to say hi. Hello. Like, the two shook hands after the TikToker attracted his attention and she said she just had to say hello and it was so great to meet you. Addison Ray meeting former President Donald Trump as shown on the NELK YouTube channel. In Las Vegas, Addison Ray encounters Donald Trump, the former president. YouTube NELK users on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter began to express their amazement or solidarity, with Ray after the encounter was captured on film by YouTube channel NELK on July 13th. Ray's goal at the time was unclear, according to one Twitter user. One commenter questioned the public's attempt to have her removed from the show and thought the debate was ridiculous. I swear they only support BLM when it benefits them, wrote another commenter, implying that Ray, who previously apologized for releasing an anti-Black Lives Matter video some years ago, wasn't being completely honest about her motivations. What makes you think she'd want to say hello? Something isn't quite right. One tweeter even addressed her previous controversies, pointing out how this particular conversation contradicts a previous social justice mea culpa. According to Addison Ray, there has been an outpouring of support for her on the internet. Her UFC hosting job was taken away from her. They look to be referring to Ray's appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in April when she did eight TikTok songs for the host and crowd. She and Fallon face outrage after their appearance for failing to honor the classic metal dance creators. Both parties expressed regret and pledged to work together to find a solution. Ray, for example, expressed an interest in working with the creators. Once the globe sets up, we can all come together and do something fun, she remarked. They're all incredible artists and I definitely don't do them justice. Following Ray's statement, Fallon hosted a segment in which the dancing pioneers discussed and deconstructed their popular routines. After making an appearance on UFC on July 9, Addison Ray was lambasted. The TikTok celebrity was sacked from her reporting job as a result of the Twitter dispute. Addison has been in sticky situations before. The TikTok celebrity had previously been chastised for appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Furthermore, her MTV Awards performance sparked memes as people reacted to her outfit. Addison began covering the UFC event as a reporter on July 9. She even tweeted about it. I studied media studies in college for three weeks to prepare for this moment. The TikTok star wrote, Addison was photographed holding the microphone and posing in a green gown. People were outraged, however, when it was revealed that a TikTok singer who was unfamiliar with the UFC had been chosen to cover the event, Addison was fired due to the response. Never mind, y'all got me fired. She wrote on Twitter confirming the news. Several others questioned why a TikTok celebrity was covering the UFC event when Addison made a post on Twitter. Simultaneously, some chastised Addison for making a mockery of the profession of journalism. Addison Ray, a user commented, I'm sorry, but that's a disgusting joke. Do you realize how many media people struggle every day to get a degree, let alone a job? Not everyone can be famous and have a personality like you living in LA doing TikTok. LMAO tweeted Kyle Beachy, a sports journalist. Amateur, doesn't know how to hold a microphone, has bad posture, isn't facing the camera, has a bad dress, D-, minus, and her necklace is cringe. H. Tyler Segerman, a sports journalist, shared similar sentiments with the following tweet. 
SMH. To all the dedicated women in the media, this is completely inconsiderate. Like, I'm not sure where to begin. His post was also tagged with the hashtag shameful. This isn't the first moment Addison has sparked a debate on Twitter. Her MTV Awards gown had already become the center of all memes. During the award show, she kissed Tanner Buchanan, her co-star. Addison had a knack for drawing everyone's attention to herself. The actress also stated that she and Tanner were not dating. Thanks so much for watching. That's all for today. What do you think about Addison Rae? Let me know in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and turn on the post notification for more.